Hi there, it's Jeremy from InternetBusinessMastery.com. And I'm Jason. And we're here with a quick tip tutorial video to show you how to start a blog or a website, giving it a beautiful design and posting your very first content all in under five minutes. Now by following along with this video, you can start your own blog even if you don't have any technical or design skills. If you know how to check your email, you, you can start a blog. It's that easy. So whether you want to share your messages, promote your business, make money online, or just express yourself creatively, a blog is the easiest and most effective way to attract followers and get results in a short amount of time. Just imagine, a few minutes from now, you'll be up and running with your own site that's easy to use. Even if you just want a regular website with a few pages on it without having to blog at all, this simple process will work for you as well. All you need is three simple things, which we'll show you how to get right now. First, you need a web address. And here's a big tip for getting more search engine traffic to your new blog. Choose a web address that contains the main search phrase that you would like to get ranked for in Google. For this example, we're going to start a blog about caring for ferrets. In fact, Jeremy has a couple ferrets of his own. They're really cute and affectionate and fun. I know you enjoy them quite a bit, right, Jeremy? Yeah, my daughters enjoy them more. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of fun having those ferrets scurrying around. So we thought it'd be a cool example. We're going to start a blog focusing on the keyword ferret care. So for our web address, we have chosen ferretcarecorner.com. So the second thing you'll need is hosting. The hosting we recommended use is at getyourbloghosting.com. They have fantastic customer service and incredible prices. And best of all, they make it super easy to launch your blog. Third, you need blog software to put on your site. But don't worry, this is much easier than it sounds. We're going to use WordPress to create your site. Now, WordPress is used by hundreds and thousands of bloggers all over the world. Not only that, but big brands like CNN and People Magazine and the New York Times use WordPress on their sites. Okay, I think it's time to get started. We're going to go through this quickly. Feel free to pause and follow along as you need. Also, you can download a step-by-step -step checklist in the description below for future reference. All right, we're going to do this really quickly, so here we go. The first thing you want to do is go to getyourbloghosting.com. So you go ahead and click on Sign Up Now. And then what we want to do is enter our desired domain name. So we've chosen Ferret Care Corner. I'm going to click on Next. All right, right here we're going to go ahead and fill out the credit card information. Then we're going to go ahead and scroll down here to the bottom. Choose whichever length of time you want. You get a little bit of a price break if you go with a longer amount. I'm just going to choose 12 months right here. Now I don't think you really need any of these extras other than I do suggest you get the domain who is privacy. It protects your contact information from being readily available as the owner of the website. All right, and then down here you enter your credit card info and we go ahead and click next. It takes just a second for that to process and then they take you to another page where they try to get you to do a whole bunch of other extras and offer that stuff. Again, I don't think you need any of this stuff. So additional upgrade total zero, go ahead and click on complete. And on the next page it says, congratulations, you were successful. So go ahead and click on create your password and then we go ahead and click on submit. On the next page they ask us to log in. So enter the password that you just chose and click on log in. All right, they're gonna ask you just a couple questions here so that they know what, uh, you know, this is just stuff for them to find out about you. You can go ahead and click on no thanks if you want. This takes you to your dashboard. If you want later, you can click on this get started now. I'm gonna go ahead and just close that. What we're looking for is the WordPress installation which you'll find down here underneath site builder. So go ahead and click on WordPress and then click on the install button. Now we're going to go ahead and leave this selected with the latest version. Then we want to select our main domain name here to just install this at the top of our website. Click on the advanced options. I think it's a good idea to come in here and enter in the name of your website, Ferret Care Corner. And then you go ahead and choose a username and password. This is different than your Bluehost username and password. This is going to be for your WordPress installation. I think it's a good idea to change your username from the default of admin. It just makes your site more secure. So I'm going to change that to a different username and then go ahead and add again my password here. And then I would uncheck underneath step three all of these check boxes. You don't need to install any of that extra stuff. Under step four, check out the license agreement if you want. Check the box and hit the complete button. All right, on this uh, page right here, it goes through the quick process. As you can see, this is very, very quick and we are already done. So now we're going to go ahead and click on this login URL and that's going to open up in a new window. And here's where you enter that WordPress username and password that you just chose. So I'm going to enter those in. 
Okay, so right here, this is what we call the WordPress dashboard. This is where you can do all kinds of things like add new content to your site, change the look of it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click on settings general. The reason for that is I want to update this tagline right here. So this is just a quick little uh, kind of statement that says what the site is all about. So I've prepared a statement here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and then click on save changes. And if we come back out here to the site, you're going to see that it's added in the tagline tips and resources to keep your ferret happy and healthy. All right, let's go back to the dashboard again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change that header, that header image that was out there. So let's go to appearance and then click on header, click on choose file. It's going to bring up the browser and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's select this one right here and click on upload. And then it even gives me this handy little editor where I can choose kind of, you know, how big I want that to be. I don't want it to be too tall. So let's just kind of get the eyes and the cute little tongue in there. Crop and publish. And then if we go ahead and uh, down here, click on save changes, we can preview the site again and we see that's been added in. So looking really good. All right, let's add some content to this site while we're at it. Back at the dashboard, we're going to click on posts and then add new. Let's go ahead and enter in a title right here. And then I've prepared just a little tip here. Let's go ahead and paste that in. And that'd be a good idea to add an image. So let's click on the upper left hand corner where I want to put the image. And then we're going to click the image button here. And then click on select files. And then I'm going to pick uh, this image off of my computer. And it gives me some options. So I'm going to click on left to move that image over to the left side. And then I'm going to do medium sized insert into post. And there we go. It shows up right there. Let's go ahead and click on publish. And then if we want, we can go ahead and view the post and see what that looks like. Looks good. All right, how about a page that gets put into the menu bar right here? I want to click on Pages, Add New, and it might be good to have an About Us page. So let's click in About Us. And then again, I've prepared some copy for that page. So go ahead and paste that in. Click on Publish. And then we go back to the home page and we see that the About Us page has been added right there to the menu bar. And there you have it. It only took us five minutes to start this blog, but I wanna show you one more tip to really make this site look amazing. You know, available all over the internet are a bunch of WordPress themes, and this is just a free one that comes with it, and it works nicely, but the best way to go if you want a really good looking theme is to go after what we call a premium WordPress theme. And you can get some of these for very inexpensive that look really, really nice and they're done by professional designers. So let me go ahead and show you how we can do that. Again, we're going to come back to our dashboard and underneath appearance, we're going to select themes. Now under themes, you can click on install themes and here they've got a search where you can select some options and kind of poke around and find a theme to install. But I like installing a theme that I've selected for myself. So I've brought up a new browser here. Let's go ahead and type in getmytheme.com. That's gonna take you to one of our favorite theme providers. And as you can see, you can get access to 75 themes, at least as of now, and that number's gonna go up, so maybe even be higher in the future, for a very low price of just $39 for the year. Uh, for the year. You get access to all of those themes. So I've downloaded one from this site called Personal Press that I really like, and that gave me a little zip file that's on my desktop right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Choose File. And right here on my desktop, you'll notice I have a zip file that I downloaded from Elegant Themes called personal press. So double click that, install now, and WordPress goes ahead and grabs it off your computer, uploads it to your hosting, and now we're just going to go ahead and click on activate. All right, let's go ahead and go out and take a look. And look at that. Just like that, we've got a brand new theme with the same content that we'd already posted. Okay, there's just a couple tweaks I want to do here. So let's go back into the dashboard. And with premium themes, one of the very cool things is that usually it comes with some special options. So right here under appearance, now we've got a new menu option called personal press theme options. I'm going to click on that. And one of the things it's going to let us do is upload our own logo to put at the top. So again, click on upload image, select files. And I just prepared a very simple logo for the website here. So let's go ahead and double click on that. It's going to upload it. I'm going to click on full size because I want it as big as it can be. And then click on use for logo. And then I need to click on save. Before I do that, there's one little option I like here called grab the first post image. You're going to kind of see what that uh, does. It's going to add a nice little element to the blog post that we put up there on the home page. Let's click on save to update these. And now let's go ahead and click on this. 
All right, right there, you're gonna see the logo's been updated up here. It's added this nice little cool image on the post on the front page, and it just looks really, really nice. And again, that was just a simple premium theme done by a professional designer. You can get that by going to getmytheme.com. And again, they've got tons of beautiful themes, so you can go ahead and choose any of the other ones that might fit your style and the niche of your blog that you're starting. So launching an amazing looking blog really couldn't be simpler. There's just two links that you need, getyourbloghosting.com and getmytheme.com. And there you have it. In a matter of minutes, you have your own blog, a place to share your voice online. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. We read every comment. Your next step is to attract traffic to your new blog. Keep an eye on the description below where we'll post tips on how to get traffic to your blog. Now if you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and subscribe button above to get more blogging tutorials like this sent to you automatically. And thanks for watching.